Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a new 20 by 20 millimeter stack by Skystars. In this quick video, I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you how to install it on this new build, and then head outdoors and test it out. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the stack, which is already pre-assembled, you can find a spare harness for connecting the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC, a high-quality XT60 battery connector, and two 10cm long 14-gauge silicon-coated wires, a 35 volts 560 microfarad capacitor, the layout of the flight controller, and a bag that contains M3 screws, O-rings, and spare rubber grommets. In terms of specs, the new Skystar Scrumum stack is based on a 55 ampere BLA32 4-in-1 ESC. It supports between 3 to 6S batteries, features a built-in current sensor, dedicated pads for soldering a capacitor, well-separated and big pads for soldering the battery leads and motor wires, which can only be found on the top side of the 4-in-1 ESC, and in addition to the 8-pins GSD connector, you can find matching pads on the top side of the board. As for the flight controller, it features an F7 processor, both 5V and 10V 2A BECs, a built-in barometer, a non-bolt 16MB of memory for logging black box data. On each corner of the flight controller, you can find an LED unit, and in addition to the 8 pins GSD connector for connecting the flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC, you can find matching pads next to it. The dimensions of the 4-in-1 ESC are 34.4 by 47.1 by 6.5 mm and it weighs 16.4 grams. And the dimensions of the flight controller are 29.5 by 34.5 by 6.1 mm and it weighs 4.2 grams. So altogether with the 4-in-1 ESC and rubber grommets, the total weight is 21.2 grams. Now after assembling the iFlight Zinc 2 2207 motors along with the Skystar Scrumum stack, FPB camera, ready receiver and VTX on the Daton Roma F5 frame, I've got everything set up. The Cadex Rattel 2 FPB camera is connected to these three pads on the front of the flight controller. The Immersion RC Trump Nano VTX, which by the way I'm going to test soon on an upcoming video, is connected to the video out pad, TX6 pad and powered using 5 volts. The Crossfire Nano SE receiver is connected to UART1, and in addition, I also connected the AJRC M80 GPS to UART2. As for Betaflight configuration, everything is pretty much straightforward. So, as you can see, I have enabled the Serial RX switch on UART1, which is connected to the TBS Crossfire Nano SE receiver. The GPS is enabled on UART2, ESC telemetry is enabled on UART3. And IRC Trump protocol is selected on UART 6, which is connected to the Trump Nano video transmitter. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test out this new build. And overall, after testing the new Skystar Scrumup stack, I can tell you that it seems to perform well, it offers plenty of useful features, I like its form factor where the micro USB port is protected further inside the stack, and the built in LEDs are a nice add on. The main downside of the stack, however, is that this flight controller is not beginner friendly since the soldering pads are very close to each other and they can only be found on the top side of the board, so in case you're a beginner, you might want to check out a more budget friendly and user friendly option. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.